Welcome back to Good Day Atlanta. Your time is 915. He plays an idealistic Harvard Medical School graduate on Fox's The Resident who's learning the ropes from a pretty unconventional doctor who's not afraid to break the rules. Take a look. Stop by to make sure you're feeling okay. <laughs> BP a little high? Have a seat. Any palpitations? My baby girl's in the OR. My baby boy won't stop crying. <laughs> Labor almost killed my wife. Now she's in the ICU. Yes. Palpitations. And Venice Dial is here to talk about the new season of The Resident, his role on the show and what we can expect. So it's so good to have you back with us. Thank you for having me. Yeah, welcome yeah. back to Good Day. So you really sell this. I mean, you, like, I feel like I could talk to you about, like, medical issues and you <laughs> you could diagnose things. <laughs> oh, and I, I don't think I can legitimately diagnose. Yeah, you diagnose, sell it. You sell you. it. So tell us what we can expect as we as we head in to season two. Well, What's I'll tell tone? you, the, the biggest difference between uh, one and two is this year, the gloves are off. Mm -hmm. um, all hands on deck. Chastain is literally ex experiencing trauma after trauma. And um, I think we doctors are coming together in a new way, uh, in an exciting way. And um, the, there's just a lot more energy and a lot more that we're dealing with. The stakes are just significantly higher. We're also seeing seeing you with more confidence, your character with, yeah. with more confidence. What do you think has led to this? Well, I think Devin came into the hospital originally as a new intern with uh, with his sort of academic history. And mm -hmm. I think right now he has to figure out how to use that and become the doctor he's going to be. And this year we see him using his instincts in a new way and trusting himself. And I think that's ultimately what's going to make him the doctor that uh, people trust and um, and support. Probably makes it really fun to play, you know, when you it see is. your character evolving. Yeah. In That's this the way. interesting thing about my character is that I get to uh, evolve him. He has such a, a long place to go. You know, uh -huh. his, his uh, arc is 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 wide. You know, I think because um, he comes in from from school and he right. has to become come similar to the other doctors we're seeing in the show. So there's a there's a long journey to play. Yeah, what do you think it is about the resident that sets it apart from from other medical dramas? Because there are there are a bunch of them, which yeah. means obviously people love them because there are so many. But what do you think it is about the resident in particular? I think the resident is unapologetic mm -hmm. and it reveals uh, the underbelly of the, the business of medicine that I don't think many shows have done yet. Uh, we talk about uh, health care and we examine it. We talk about its, um, the implications of, 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 of health care and, and how, how it's affecting our country and our world. Mm -hmm. And that's something that, um, that the show likes to illuminate. Um, and I'm not sh and I'm, it, there, there are a lot of hot button topics that we, that we uh, generally speak about um, from the patients that come on. Yeah, not yeah. afraid to tackle those. Yeah, I think all. that I think that's what it is. Is the show is a bit more fearless than others. Yeah, so it's filmed here in Atlanta. Yeah, which we love, which is great. So love how it. do you feel about it being? I love being Atlanta. Here? I'm you know I'm discovering the city still. There's so much to do, so much to see. Uh, I think I had, uh, you know, in, the, in a previous interview with you guys, I told you that the traffic is tough. <laughs> I'm having, I'm having what trouble. What traffic? What are you oh, talking about? Oh my there, gosh, the no traffic, traffic here. The, uh, traffic on I-20 is killer. <laughs> uh, it's intense. But you Everywhere, really have right? to uh, stay focused. Yeah. yeah, but hey, it makes up for the great food, the great places. Yeah. I'm sure you've, you've had a chance oh, to yeah. experience yeah. all that too. I want to talk about this. So you directed a short film 15 years later. Yes. That was, that's what it's called. It is. Uh, when did you do that and what are your plans for directing? You know, I directed 15 years later uh, it is a story about two guys and their experience uh, professionally and psychologically after 9-11 and what mm -hmm. happened to their lives and and uh, how their tragedies ultimately align 15 years later and these are two two guys who are were deeply affected by what happened and um, how they come together to heal each other in, in, in many ways so I directed this story it was really close to me something uh, you know a story I wanted to tell and I think that's what made the, my first directing experience one that was memorable and uh, you know fantastic for me because it was a story that was close to me it stuck with you you yeah. said you want to direct some more I do and it is something that I've always always been passionate about so I'm hoping uh, for that opportunity again it was uh, one of the greatest experiences I've had in my career so far. Love that. Okay, when you sign a petition, you need to direct an episode of The Resident. <laughs> I love him. Let him know. Let him know, please. I hope they're watching. That's who we get. We thank want you. him to, to be all over that. Manish, thank, thank you. you so much for thank coming in Thank you so today. much for having me. Yeah, I appreciate it. Pleasure to have you here. Always thank enjoy you. visiting with you. Yeah. And our thanks to Fox Publicity for help coordinating today's interview with Manish. Season 2 of The Resident premieres tonight at 8, right here on Fox 5.